So I said I wasn't going to do any videos while I was sick, but screw it. You guys have to deal with it. So, some exciting news. Well, first off, Neptune 2, I am running Clipper. So I've got Clipper on the Neptune 2. I was using the 2.1.2 Marlin, and it just, it was a buggy. I mean... There were things that I liked about it, things I didn't like about it. I figured it I just did I did this as a as a goof. I just wanted to see what it was about. Put it on. Yo, this is awesome. Clipper is like really good. The nice thing about this is that the screen interacts with the web UI. So when you are printing something from the web UI, from Fluid or Moonrake or whatever, the screen updates. And if I go into, like, print, you've got native thumbnails that come in from Prusa Slicer. Yeah, this is cool. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, but I digress. I digress. So Neptune 3. Everybody is upset that the Neptune 3 has met an early demise and not going to be supported much anymore. Blah, 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 blah. And what was one of a... What was one of the major points of contention was the DWIN screen that was lacking in features. So after speaking back and forth with the, um, the developer, the Naruto FZR, whose name I never quite caught, um, he told me that the firmware for the Neptune 3 Pro eh, should work on the Neptune 3. So, what did I do? I tested that theory. I bought a MakerBase MKS H43. And I got it to work on the Neptune 3. If I go into... Here, and I go here. Where the hell is it? Here. Move. We'll see. Set the speed. I'm moving. I'm using it. I've got the firmware for the Neptune 3 Pro. I've got the Marlin 2.1.1 working. I don't know if it's perfect, but I've got it working with the MKS 43 or H43 if I go into here you can actually set all of your steps you can set accelerations you can set up all kinds of stuff on here you can set your probing offsets you can set whatever this all is. <laughs> you could do the print pause config setup. I still have to I still have to diddle around with it a little bit, but it works. I mean it works. I just ran an auto bed level with it. It works. It doesn't show me the grid, but it it's working. It, it I'm gonna <laughs> the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can get this to fit into the stock housing, and I have to figure out a way to get it to chooch on the stock phone cord because right now I've got it plugged into my serial UART pins with the MakerBase adapter using their phone cord. But it doesn't run native to the phone cord that's on this guy here, which I have to figure out why. But gives me a little bit of hope for the future for all you guys that want to use the 4.3 inch display. You could pick up the H43 on AliExpress for twenty-five dollars. 
and then you can load in the latest firmware. I'm going to fork the firmware from the Naruto page, and I'm going to upload my configuration files. There's three files that have to get adjusted. There's the two configurations. There's configuration.h and configuration underscore adv.h, which is part for the course. But also the pin file for the Neptune 3 Pro is missing some information. It, they they didn't it, they didn't put in the pins for the uh for the fifth driver. So I had to put in the pins for the fifth driver so I can enable my dual Z. But there's that and the uh the servo pin for the BL Touch is the pin that they're using for the inductive sensor. Now, here's a little something that I found interesting with the inductive sensor. Looking at the wiring schematics, the inductive sensor shows that it's using a 12-volt input signal to power the thing. But then there's, you know, you've got your three pins. It's a, it's a proximity sensor, so you've got your, your source power, your ground, and your signal. The signal wire, because it's an NPN sensor, it's sending the ground signal from the sensor to complete the circuit. So what they're doing is they're, they're putting the signal wire into PA8, which is the BL Touch servo input, but they're using a 3.3 volt pull-up resistor. So they're pulling up voltage to go into that pin. I was always under the impression that NPN sensors used... Um, use line voltage regardless of whether they're sinking or sourcing I thought that there was always line voltage going through that signal wire so if, if somebody's more familiar with it let me know because if that be the case that 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 opens up some possibilities for me in the future so <laughs> uh, that, that, that's my own personal uh, endeavor but anyway, so exciting times. Thanks for watching. Happy New Year and see you soon.